Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. Particularly as we get into the holiday shopping season, make sure to do all of your Amazon shopping, personal and gifts for others through the black banner at davidpakman.com. When you click that banner, bookmark it, and then use it when you shop at Amazon, you take 7% of your purchase away from Amazon and you send it to The David Pakman Show. It becomes a great boost for the show. You can also become a David Pakman Show member, made possible in part by liberalbias.com. Not only do we have liberals here on Earth, but now you have to worry about liberal bias in space. There are distant galaxies mocking conservative values and tricking scientists into believing the Earth is actually millions of years old, Lewis. Can you imagine that? We know it's only 6,000 years old. Crazy. Find out more about that liberal bias in outer space at liberalbias.com. Today's new member of the day, Don Toller. Don Toller, that's D-A-W-N, not D-O-N. I want to be absolutely clear. It's good to, you know, see, online and progressive type news shows like ours have a very heavily skewed male audience. Sometimes it's 80-20. I like to tout that we are 65-35, 65 male, 35 female, which is actually, it sounds still very, very skewed, but compared to the average young progressive online news show, we're actually doing really, really well. So uh, uh, along those lines, I want to make clear that I am talking about D-A-W-N, Don Toller, a new David Pakman show member. We're making progress. Absolutely. CIA director David Petraeus has resigned over an extramarital affair set to involve sex under a desk. On November 9th, Petraeus announced that he would be resigning as CIA director because of the affair. He had met with President Obama on Thursday. He offered to resign. President Obama thought about it overnight, accepted the resignation the next day. Now, news agencies have been reporting that Paula Broadwell, who is David Petraeus's biographer, was the woman involved and that she had been under investigation by the FBI for suspicion of having access to Petraeus's email. If you can access the CIA director's email, that's a problem. Yes. I would say for sure. An FBI official said that the entire thing started with a complaint from another woman that Broadwell was harassing her. Now, Natan, what do you know about the other woman, 37-year-old Jill Kelly? Yeah, I don't know much. I don't think we know much yet, but uh, it just occurred to me that it might come out now that either she was having an, also having an affair with Petraeus or maybe um, Broadwell got jealous because you know she was near him in some sort of inappropriate situation, according to her. Former CIA chief David Petraeus sent some saucy emails to his ex-mistress, including one that referenced sex under a desk, according to actually a couple of websites reporting that now. This is not a great year for those presumed to adhere to the highest standards of discretion and discipline. Of course, the Secret Service, prostitution in Columbia scandal, and now the CIA. I have to say, though, I question whether this is really news in the sense that you could make two arguments. One is, listen, if, if the head of the CIA is having an affair, that, that easily could compromise security. At the same time, you could investigate that. In other words, they were already investigating whether this woman had access to his email without leaking that he had had an affair. Because in the end, if this is the head of any other department that's involved with the government, it's like a one day thing that they had an affair. And now with David Petraeus, it's turning into this whole big thing. I'm just not convinced that David Petraeus having an affair is necessary information. In other words, it's his personal life. Yes, I, I guess I agree with that. But when he is the director of the CIA, yeah, don't you want to know that that's someone who has some uh, moral clarity? I, th I would question whether I mean, we you would have see... to question his judgment. But hold on. And do you, his intelligence. Do you think the decisions that we would view all the decisions that the CIA makes daily as moral ones, whether it, vol it involves taking out certain people who m have never perhaps, been perhaps tried? Not moral, but you want them making the right decisions. And here's one case where clearly he was incompetent when it come, came to making the right decisions. What do you think about that that Lewis is bringing up, Natan? It's interesting because he says you want to make sure that they're acting morally when we know that all of these agencies daily are doing things that we would consider immoral and incorrect. Yeah, although the perception among the public, for the most part, is that they're they're in trying to protect us from terrorism. Sure. So the perception is what matters. But in terms of this particular thing, uh, it seems to me like the the best argument I saw was that uh, you know maybe people who are working at the CIA or in the intelligence community, once they know about this, uh, they're just not going to trust their leader, and that would have a damaging effect on the intelligence community. However, very good. Point. If this doesn't come out 
um, th if this information hadn't come out, rather, I think maybe it would be better. The fact that now it came out makes it so that he can't really continue his job, but I think that maybe he just shouldn't have come out. 